China's latest step in unmanned aviation arrived not with a splashy airshow reveal but with the steady thrum of counter-rotating blades over Harbin. On October 30, 2025, United Aircraft conducted the maiden flight of the Boeing T-1400, a twin-engine, tandem rotor unmanned helicopter that pushes China deeper into the medium-to-heavy segment of vertical lift drones. The basic facts are notable on their own, a maximum takeoff weight of 1,400 kg, endurance up to 8 hours, a service ceiling around 6,500 meters, and a top speed near 180 km per hour. Yet the more consequential story is what that combination implies, a pivot from quadcopter convenience or fixed-wing range toward a workhorse architecture designed to lift meaningful payloads, remain on station, and do so without a runway or flight crew on board. The tandem rotor configuration is the headline. By placing two large rotors fore and aft rather than relying on a single main rotor plus tail rotor, the T-1400 uses lift more efficiently and sidesteps the torque penalties that sap performance in conventional helicopters. That geometry habitually benefits cargo hauling designs because it lets engineers devote more of the aircraft's weight budget to fuel and payload rather than counter-torque systems. In an unmanned context, the trade space opens further, software can manage the complex rotor interactions and center of gravity shifts involved in different payload kits, while the absence of a human cabin allows a larger, unobstructed internal volume. The result, if executed well, is a platform with the stability to hover in gusty conditions, the power to slingshot heavy loads vertically, and the endurance to stay useful once airborne. United Aircraft's messaging around intelligent autonomy is equally important. The T-1400 is framed as more than a remote-controlled lifter, it is positioned as an autonomous node capable of handling dynamic mission profiles, planning routes, responding to environmental changes, and executing tasks without constant human micromanagement. In practice, that could mean a logistics sortie that picks an alternate landing zone after detecting obstacles, a surveillance orbit that RET asks itself based on sensor cues, or agricultural dispersal that modulates flow based on wind and terrain data. The vendors stress on modularity, emphasizing swappable mission kits for cargo, sensing, or communications relay, fits a broader industrial trend toward configurable airframes that can swap roles over their life cycle without major structural surgery. The strategic timing is no accident. China's unmanned portfolio has long been rich in fixed-wing designs that trade vertical lift for range and altitude, and in multirotors that trade endurance for simplicity. A credible medium-to-heavy unmanned helicopter fills a hole between those extremes. It addresses scenarios where runways are scarce, terrain is constricted, or hovering over a point matters more than sprinting to it. Think mountain valleys where convection complicates approaches, narrow river corridors flanked by vegetation, forward operating sites with limited clearings, or ship decks with marginal space. In these environments, a drone like the T-1400 offers something a fixed wing cannot, true vertical logistics and stationary observation, while offering more range and payload than small multicopters. From a defense and security perspective, the implications are straightforward. A platform in the 1.4-ton class can carry not just cameras but robust electro-optical and infrared turrets, synthetic aperture radars, signals relay packages, or compact electronic warfare payloads. It can sling load supplies or deliver sealed containers into tight landing zones where manned helicopters might be held back by risk or availability. Eight hours of endurance is not a trivial number when the mission involves maintaining a communications bridge over rugged terrain or shuttling critical spares across dispersed bases. Moreover, because the aircraft is unmanned, commanders can assign it to dull, dirty, or dangerous tasks, nighttime resupply in poor weather, post-disaster survey over unstable ground, or loitering in zones where air defense threats would make manned rotary wing operations unpalatable. The civil and commercial cases are equally compelling. In disaster relief, a long loitering tandem rotor unmanned platform can deliver water, generators, and medical kits while also serving as an aerial cell tower for cut-off communities. In agriculture, 
it could disperse seed or fertilizer across challenging plots and return for refills without the overhead of a full flight crew or runway access. Energy and infrastructure operators could use it to ferry sensors and technicians kits to mountaintop relays or offshore platforms, then hold position as a persistent eye on ongoing work. In every case, the value lies in a simple arithmetic, endurance multiplied by payload, divided by the cost and risk of putting humans aboard. At the same time, the T-1400's debut is more milestone than finish line. Endurance figures are most meaningful with a payload attached, and the market will want to see performance under load, not just in clean configuration. Twin-engine designs bring redundancy but also weight and maintenance complexity, power-to-weight margins at high-density altitude will be a crucial constraint to test. Autonomy can reduce crew burden, yet reliability in cluttered, GPS-degraded, or contested electromagnetic environments remains the yardstick for serious adoption. Finally, an unmanned aircraft that operates in national airspace faces regulatory hurdles around detect and avoid, spectrum management, and contingency procedures, hurdles that often take longer to clear than any engineering challenge. There is also a wider geopolitical angle. If United Aircraft matures the T-1400 toward series production, export customers in Asia, Africa, or the Middle East may view an unmanned tandem rotor system as a way to leapfrog helicopter logistics capability without building a full pilot training pipeline. That raises the usual questions about technology diffusion, dual-use applications, and how easily mission systems can be swapped to meet different legal regimes. For rivals and partners alike, the safe assumption is that capability demonstrated in public will be refined in private, with subsequent variants extending endurance, hardening the airframe, and integrating more sophisticated autonomy stacks and payload power budgets. Even in the military sphere, the T-1400 sits inside a larger modernization arc China has invested in swarming behaviors, long-range fixed-wing surveillance drones, and armed remotely piloted aircraft, adding a heavy-lift rotorcraft completes the toolkit for distributed operations. Picture a logistics web where fixed-wing drones move between large hubs, while medium-to-heavy unmanned helicopters handle the last tactical hop into constrained spaces. Layered atop that could be autonomous ground vehicles at the delivery end and small multirotors handling hyperlocal distribution. The logic is not uniquely Chinese, it mirrors concepts appearing across NATO and Indo-Pacific militaries. But the T-1400's first flight is a signal that China intends to field its own answer in the same weight class. Visuals from the debut show a clean, utilitarian airframe with tandem rotors, a composite exterior, and skid landing gear marked with the manufacturer's livery. What they do not show, production cadence, unit price, customer lists, matters just as much. Those blanks will determine whether the T-1400 becomes a niche demonstrator or a workhorse that actually changes how goods and data move through difficult airspace. If commitments emerge, the next markers to watch are endurance trials with representative payloads, cold and hot weather testing at altitude, autonomous landing and resupply cycles, and evidence of integration with existing logistics software and command and control networks. For now, the prudent takeaway is measured but clear. China has put a 1.4-ton unmanned tandem rotor helicopter into the air and claims performance figures that, if validated under load, would make it a credible tool for both civilian and security missions. The platform addresses a genuine operational niche that neither fixed-wing drones nor light multirotors fill well. It illustrates a continued shift toward autonomous systems that do not just sense the world but move vital things through it. And it underscores a reality planners everywhere are grappling with, vertical lift is too valuable to be limited to piloted airframes. Whether the Boeing T-1400 ultimately proves a singular program or the leading edge of a family, it has already nudged the boundary of what unmanned rotorcraft are expected to do.